guys welcome back to average joe blades today we're going to be taking a look at a pocket knife that was my stepdad's it has a bone and brass handle um the blade is not very sharp at all and uh it has a few chips in it so we're going to try and remedy that today with these whetstones that i have here um first things first let's uh get the whetstones wet <laughs> um i'll show you guys a few close-ups of the blade the blade is is not not in good working order um you can see that there's some chips there and it's just the bevel is just very uneven and the tip is almost non-existent on it so what we're going to do is we're going to plop these stones here into the water get them wet and uh, we'll start sharpening So what you want to do is leave these whetstones in there until it stops bubbling, probably about 10, 15, 20 minutes, depending on how long it soaks up the water. In the meantime, I'm going to make some coffee. All right guys, bubbles are done. Got my coffee here. We're gonna start with, I have a thousand grit. That's the lowest grit that I have. So we're gonna start with that and try to redo a bevel on this knife. Maybe even try to reprofile the tip a little bit. So it becomes a little bit more knife shaped than it is right now. Um, and we'll see how that goes. So these whetstones I got from Bed Bath & Beyond, not the greatest whetstones, there's definitely better ones out there, but what we're gonna do is first off, reprofile the bevels. So we're gonna go back and forth um, on both sides, removing the burr on both sides, and hopefully at that point we can move up to higher grits and then get it sharper than it has ever been before. <laughs> So I've been sharpening this on the whetstone for about 20, 25 minutes or so now. Um, all the deep gashes that were in there are slowly starting to dissipate. Um, everything's becoming a lot more uniform and it's just gonna take a little bit more elbow grease to get through it. So I have my bevel straight, I have all the nicks and everything taken out, time to go up a grit. All right, bevel's looking really good. I'm gonna start going up to about 5,000 grit now and finish it off, and then I will do a cut test and show you guys the finished product. It's turning out really good though. I'm pretty, uh, pretty proud of myself. With that.
right, and we're done, guys. So I happen to have a piece of paper right here. Um, bevel's looking good. Everything seems pretty sharp. I did cut myself, which kind of sucks, but you know, what can you do? Um, and this was, wasn't really a tutorial as much as it was just a little project I was doing for a knife from my stepdad that I felt like I'd give a new life to. Um, all the, uh, all the imperfections are gone from it. So let's see how sharp it is. Definitely sharp. Definitely, definitely sharp. Whoops. Whoops. Yeah, definitely sharp, guys. So if you guys, whoopsie, there we go. If you want to sharpen your knife with a whetstone, I would suggest something better than the ones that you would get at um, Bed Bath & Beyond. Maybe a Japanese whetstone as opposed to these, um, but they definitely do a good job of sharpening a knife. Um, probably use this as my new pocket knife now. I do have a, a multi-tool, but um, I think this one here is just a little bit more sentimental, so I'll probably uh, probably be using this um, in the future just to uh, maybe open packages or just do stuff around the house if I need a pocket knife for anything like that. But um, definitely a little cool pocket knife, and I'm glad I restored it. It looks great. I can't wait to use it in the future. And uh, yeah, so thanks for watching, guys. I got myself another cup of coffee as a as a prize for doing that that work there. Um, <laughs> We'll have some videos coming out soon. I'll have uh, an unboxing video. I just ordered a vise off of eBay, one of the cheaper vices off of eBay, bench vices. So we'll see how that works out, but um, I'll see you guys in the next one.